Fasting is considered to be very beneficial for longevity and many people actually think that it's going to extend your lifespan. In fact, they think that it's the most powerful thing to do if you want to live longer. Well, in this video, I'm going to talk about this new particular study done by Dr. Sachin Panda about how fasting and time restricted eating can be beneficial for extending lifespan. Do it! So uh, yeah, the highlights of the study is that 80% of genes are differentially expressed or rhythmic under time restricted feeding in at least one tissue. Time restricted feeding decreases genes involved in inflammatory signaling and glycerolipid metabolism. Time restricted feeding increases genes involved in RNA processing, protein folding and autophagy. And lastly, time restricted feeding causes multi-tissue rewiring of BCA, glucose and lipid metabolism. So it basically is a mouse study where they had uh, two groups of mice. One of them was like on a uh, the, they both of them say ate the same amount of calories. It's just one ate in a certain time frame which is the active phase of the uh, mice for them it's nighttime and uh, the other group pretty much ate around the clock or they didn't have any uh, restrictions what they did find th is that uh, time restricted feeding profoundly impacted gene expression so it affected this inflammatory autophagy and other like uh, lipid metabolism genes and nearly 80 percent of all genes they show a differential expression of rhythmicity under time restricted feeding in at least one tissue so all of these you know let's say genes and processes that uh, they mention have some aspects of circadian rhythm and they yeah fluctuate throughout the day based on the circadian rhythm and uh, feeding at the right time for the active phase of these mice pretty much enhances the expression of these longevity genes and down regulates like inflammatory genes down regulates you know lipid genes and uh, those kind of things you can also see the uh, graphical abstract of the study uh, pretty much uh, the coordination of the tissue improved or the like coordination between organs and different tissues of the body was uh, with a bigger amplitude and rhythmic rhythmicity which is actually very important even like you can see that also in like human aging so with age uh, humans they have less fluctuations in their circadian uh, diurnal rhythms so they produce less melatonin at night they produce less cortisol in the morning and uh, they down regulate nutrient sensing which are all linked to the circadian rhythms and like these big fluctuations in these rhythms so eating all the time causes the circadian disruption that can increase inflammation increases oxidative stress and uh, prevents the activation of autophagy limits autophagy or like mitochondrial functions and also flattens out the amplitude between the circadian rhythms that pretty much yeah keeps the body in a let's say state of dysfunction and uh, chronic low-grade inflammation whereas if you do time restricted eating you uh, kind of amplitude or you, you enhance this uh, amplitude you have bigger swings at the right time like you have a bigger swing in cortisol in the morning you have bigger swing of melatonin at night which then maintains the circadian alignment and as a result also down regulates inflammation down regulates oxidative stress enhances autophagy enhances cell cycle regulation mitochondrial function so yeah like your body works better and more optimally if you maintain the circadian rhythm alignment and uh, the feeding aspect is probably you know yeah light is the biggest regulator of circadian rhythms but feeding and eating at the right time is uh, it could be actually even more impactful from like a gene expression side Sachin Panda has actually also recently published a human study, so you know we don't want to just look at my studies, but um, in uh, October 2022, so like a few months ago, they actually also released a study on shift workers, so 24-hour shift workers, and they assessed the time restricted eating in those. So 10-hour time restricted eating is feasible for shift workers on a 24-hour schedule. Time restricted eating improved very low density lipoprotein size and quality of life measures. Time restricted eating decreased hemoglobin A1C and blood pressure for participants with cardiometabolic risk and a consistent 10 hour eating window where you fast like 14 hours had no adverse effects. Nice. Now when it comes to weight loss and just improving metabolic health then uh, yes there it can be also achieved with just some aspects of calorie restriction and there are you know a few studies that do compare the effects of intermittent fasting and calorie restriction and they don't find like any like very big significant differences and i absolutely do think that you wouldn't see like these health effects if you ate like excess amounts of calories even when you are doing you know time sheet eating maybe you can maintain the same effects without like severe calorie restriction you can maybe restrict your calories a bit less if you do intermittent fasting but uh, yeah you do still need to maintain some aspects of like at least calorie moderation and like a small deficit and intermittent fasting and time sheet eating is a great way to just uh, achieve that if you have a smaller time frame 
then you will achieve the calorie restriction much more easily, which uh, is still like pretty much the main mechanism and the main reason why uh, these uh, diets and uh, eating patterns have a longevity effect. However, there is actually one very interesting study that compared calorie restriction and this time restricted eating in mice and how it affected their longevity in May 2022. And uh, they pretty much, you know, had the mice in a calorie restriction and uh, they found that uh, a 30% calorie restriction was sufficient to extend the lifespan by 10% in these uh, mice. However, a daily fasting interval and circadian alignment of feeding acted together to extend lifespan by 35% in male mice. So they pretty much show that you know the mice were on calorie restriction, they lived 10% um, like longer under 30% calorie restriction, but if they combined this calorie restriction with the circadian rhythm alignment, they also um, you know uh, lived up to 35% longer. So that's you know you know three times longer uh, than the just regular calorie restriction without the uh, circadian alignment and without the intermittent fasting. So all the benefits of intermittent fasting still have to act together with the circadian rhythms. If you're doing time restricted eating, but your circadian rhythms are misaligned, you have shift work, you're, you, you're like just eating at night and uh, you eat too late, then you're probably missing out on a lot of the benefits or you know, you're not getting the full benefits of doing time restricted eating. So yeah, humans are you know diurnal creatures, we're not mice. For mice, the active phase is at night, so they need to eat at night. That's the healthiest way for them to do, and they sleep at daytime. For humans, it's the opposite. We need to eat at the daytime and sleep at night, and also eat you know, uh, during the daytime when it's light, not when it's uh, dark outside. And when it comes to the you know, longevity benefits you see from time restricted feeding, a lot of it is also regulated yeah, by these other circadian hormones and processes that ha happen alongside the circadian rhythm alignment. So autophagy has a circadian rhythm and uh, yeah, it actually mediates a lot of these uh, longevity effects that you see from time machine eating, which again means that yeah, you shouldn't pretty much eat too late because a lot of the process of autophagy happens in the evening when you're sleeping and in the early morning. So you shouldn't eat like immediately after waking up and you shouldn't Im eat um, immediately before bed as well. What I like to think is that, yeah, you wait like, you know, at least three hours or so after waking up before eating and um, you have to stop eating optimally like four to five hours before bed. If you are interested in starting intermittent fasting and time restricted feeding with the right methods, then check out my intermittent fasting video course. But other than that, thanks for watching this video. Make sure to click the like, subscribe, notification bell as well. My name is Seem. Stay optimized, stay empowered.